That's politics! <laughs> we can't end it like that, and we can't film the show. Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. Today I'm going to do something like a weekend alive though it's Tuesday but I'm just gonna take you through till the weekend. <laughs> One eternity later. The next day. Well, today is Wednesday. Hey, home day. Yesterday, after the salon, I was tired. I've been ill literally over two weeks ago. That has got day that was the beginning of my illness. So, what happened? I noticed, first of all, the first two nights, I slept on Thursday and Friday. I slept and woken up like with in a sweat. Like, I just thought, oh my god, everywhere was really hot. That's why I just told myself. So I think it was Thursday evening after my training, my new clients I'm going to start working on. I realized there was some bit of like rash, not really rash, like redness on my skin. So I quickly went to the gym because I just wanted to sort out anything, if there was anything at all. So when they were like, I just go to the pharmacy, ask them for any over-the-counter meds or ointments you could apply. So I went to the pharmacy, they gave me something, something, sure. So I applied it two days. Hmm. We now went to Asko, guys. Asko was really hot. Daddy was hot. I wore a dress. You saw the dress I wore now. I had like a bit of neck because I really did not want to, just in case it was something that was contagious. I don't know. No, I don't know. I would just cover it because the rash is now a bit redder. I started collecting the ointment. I think on Monday, it didn't feel like it was getting better. So I went to book an appointment to my GP. In fact, I went to the GP. They're like, no, you have to book an appointment. I called the next day. Da, da, da. So I did the e consult thing, booked an appointment. Beginning appointment for Friday, guys. This was Monday, so we went for the ask thing on Tuesday. Go back that evening, it was really uncomfortable. The sun now burnt it again and became darker and uncomfortable. So, just sitting on the was just like, Are you sure you really want to move to Friday? Like, let's look for something. I just went on my Google, I was like, Emergency. And I saw A and &E. guys, I've forgotten about A and &E. Like, obviously, I knew A and &E now, like, as usual, before when I was. Used to when I stay calling when I stay with my own, I stay ah ah yeah, and he wants my hair it does like this, I'm good. <laughs> but for some reason, I just totally forgot they existed. So I told him, ah, they weren't close to the house. We shall drove two minutes, we were already there. You guys, I got there 9 45, no, 9 15. It was my son so fast, I was so ah, excited. I called Monty, so I'll be done here. I sat in the room for like for in fact, 2 45 was when I finally got the drugs. So obviously came, looked at it. As I was just entering, the lady, the lady doctor, one of the lady doctors at the other side, not really the reception, she said, ah, oh, that shingles. <laughs> I just kept me in one room, she waited. It was so devastating. Like, I felt so sad, so down. Just sitting in the room, waiting, waiting. And once I come up, like, out, any doctor be like, oh, what's up? Just, is it wild? They were, all of them were just saying, is it wild? Is it a bit of a wait? Is it wild? Is it wild? Like, they are already used to saying it. Normally, our GPs, everybody is just short staffed. A and &E, they prioritize kids obviously and then every other person is still short like crazy guys i was there 2 45 a.m that's my final day collected the drugs when she obviously came to see me or she obviously knew what she it was with everything yeah shingles if you don't know what it is it's like the senior brother of chicken pox so if you didn't have chicken pox it's not like have it as an adult it's called shingles and it was never just normal it was like aggressive the only difference that i would say positive as against you know ch chicken pox is the fact that it's just half of your body so it's just like from here here even my face had it at the back half as well and then it stops like literally above your boob so it's not even up to three quarter or half of your it's like one quarter of your body about say you know but it burns and stuff so that that, that has been me the antibiotic the drugs they gave me was about seven days obviously work i couldn't even I, I logged in now and let me try as my hand everything was just painful i just sent a picture to my manager like, can't do it can't do it 
so that's it i've just been chilling at home i'm physically strong but the pain from the shingles just takes everything away like i literally get so i want to do things i don't see it sick sick i want to claim sickness but i think this one starts doing or oh, even till now that's why i have this stuff on i don't even show you guys because it's not something i really want to show you <laughs> yeah so um, what else what else what else what else um so yeah yesterday i got my nails done because i really just want to look like a human being because my um eyebrows did you guys never again i told myself i'll never do this threading the last time i did it was because of my podcast i was filming and i told myself i love my bushy brows if you see the pain plus hair was not hurting the fact another person had to be the one to hold it i was just like this beauty is pain it's not my style like Beauty is pain is not in my diction. I mean, let me be using pain for sensible things, not beauty. I tried did my nails and did my toenails as well and came back home. So before I went to the salon, I tried to do some cooking. Cooked um, soup. I think I made stew and banga soup because I have previous banga soup. You see the really thin finished. So I made that and then there was okra soup, but I had to the okra and I wasn't in the mood yesterday again. Once I got back, finished those two, it was not this morning, I did the okra and all that. So as I said, I have to, I'm seeing my friend on Wednesday, which is, oh, sorry, Thursday, which is tomorrow. And we'll have going together. That's true. My friend, would you actually order something as well? Just a dress. I'll see if I can give this my other friend to take to Lagos. Yeah. What else? Okay, yeah, I got a tripod finally. So I ordered this from Amazon and it came in yesterday. I would unbox it. Maybe I'm not talking now, so I should just unbox it and show you guys. I also ordered some Zara boxes. There are three of them. They are probably filming only. Oh, let me just show you now. So those are the Zara boxes. What I'm doing with those items is not even okay. One of which uh, is guided by the mannequin, to be honest, because we went to Zara yesterday. Yeah, no, two days ago. And then I saw this was the mannequins. In fact, the first set of mannequins that I saw the first that I went, you just had white t shirt saying sale, go online, online sale, imagine. So this one, I now saw like three items. Clearly, I already sold them because I searched the whole other. I know that I got to find things. Three looks, I finally found two. The third one, it was even a cool old switch. I mean, easy to find, but Lila like, wasn't there. So that was brown, and I now got one in green. I was like, whatever, I'll just tell you guys, sold them because of sale. I know. Um, that's why I have this. Okay, another reason I have that's uh, I did this real. I think the guy's talking about bulk filming. You guys have been down for three weeks. Like, I've not carried camera like this for almost three weeks now, and I still been, I've been able to post every day. She gets because I always be to be up and down your place. So, yeah, Prime Day is coming very soon, by the way. So, you should actually look out for this. I don't know what Prime Day is, but I think it's a situation where everybody will now have Prime or something. So I'm going to put a link to this tripod as well as a link to other things I think may help you if you're a content creator. Or any other just nice things on, um, on Amazon. For some reason, I may not be the one to do like Amazon fashion and then due to my health now, I don't think I'll have time to do that. So I was talking about the Zara, the other two boxes, because there's three of them. The small one is the added by the mannequin items I saw, the last Zara we went. And then the other two, okay, so I was going to do this video. I saw a girl that did it on um, on Instagram, where she did, I think it was West African countries, and then she just dressed like West African countries. So I actually filmed that already, and then I was going to post it. I was like, you know what, Steph, why don't we do another, like, Maybe East African countries or you know South African countries. Now I'm saying East. I'm not thinking of it. So but in my head I was like South African countries. So I now, you know, got the flags. So just the flags, you just like the flags. So I already have the one for West African countries. I think I have four four looks. Three, four, yeah, I think four. So for South Africa, I chose four as well. So these are the items. I'm just gonna film the real life. This is my tripod now. I love the fact that it comes in this bag. It's quite steady, it looks strong, and then my camera will comfortably sit on it. This one, my camera doesn't comfortably sit on it. So this will be a good thing for this. I'll probably try to maybe set up this now just in case I don't wake up with energy tomorrow. I can just, you know, get into the window of things. But I'm going brunch tomorrow, so I feel like I can even do a real with the outfit I'm wearing already. I think that's about it. Isn't it that, oh guys, did I even tell you? My mom now, during the period of my illness, she actually called me on the day that I dreamt you were ill. Then she just talking about my skin. She dreams, uh, like anytime I'm in ill in this country. Just like when I'm ill, I don't like telling my parents because I'm just like I'm giving them more stress. They can't do anything about it. 
GPT. That is the required minimum. So, which pays for you. She has a gym like this. She has a patient. She's called to just sit and have you well. Your skin. Don't, don't be distracted. Because when I was younger, I used to use mother care in baby lotion. Like, I think they now stop selling once and I just stay using Johnson and Johnson. So, I make sure you don't get distracted using unnecessary things. Your skin is sensitive. So, obviously, she saw that I had, you know, illness the skin and in her mind the one she knows is that my skin is sensitive so she didn't even think of like chicken pox or anything like that just saying okay that she saw me that I was ill with my skin she said you know addressing me about my skin but how am I I said I'm fine guys I have to lie maybe when I'm healed completely I can now tell about all my brothers I can already tell them you know, this was what was going on when I go to them she dreamed they're not even surprised because she actually does dream and the day she actually called I think it was a Thursday, you know, this thing started, I actually went here on Wednesday, when I cried sitting down in the room, it was Thursday, so I got Thursday, I bought calamine lotion, because the first thing they had given me that other time had finished, so I got calamine lotion from Boots, calamine and I think glycerin, the calamine lotion had finished, so this was quite, I don't know, not so chalky, like calamine lotion would be, actually like there was white stuff on your skin, hey, <laughs> but that Jesus. Just other things, and I'll take care. I'll pray. Blah, blah, blah. I read my rosary that night. Hey, I have two rosary shards. One, one is always in my bag, and the other is always in another bag. I just carry one in one of the bags. I just drop. I to pray that night, and all that. So yeah, that's about it. I just don't want to forget anything. Anyway, today I talked to my career manager because NHS they're giving me a medical certificate, just com um, confirming the fact that. I had to be off work for over seven days because normally your office and even the NHS is after seven days they can now give you a sick note and I'm so keen to go back to work so yeah, that's for you guys um I just thought to sit down and have a quick chat with you I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting because like, there's so many things that were just running on my mind today that I'll talk to you about okay so as I said I'm going to see my friend tomorrow and then my other friend it was happy oh, by the way Demi happy birthday um her birthday was yesterday and yeah so my other friend Abogo, her birthday was up uh, was it Sunday? Sunday, yeah. And um I'm gonna take her to this show. I got a PR invite to a show and I know Abogo really ex enjoys experiences. Like out of all my friends, I think she's the one that like loves experiences most. So that'll be her birthday gift. I was gonna give Demi a gift card then and I got this PR invite for something. So, so I wouldn't now take Demi to go. Clearly it's not and all. These people that we were talking about, they do not give you birthday present this year. But the thing is, since I've been ill, like even people that just want little conversation, like people have been spoiling me, like my girlfriends, even when I came to VC from Lagos, who just said I was ill, bought things, came to the house, they spent the evening with me, my other friend and Maka, this was lazy. My other friend and Maka ordered MS food basket, other treats, other things, as in things I didn't even know MS sold. <laughs> I just saw one big box, like MS get well soon, Stephanie. From, oh. I felt so loved, you know, so I was just like, let me pay it forward by even giving people better present than not giving me. <laughs> shingles and I'm getting better. Hopefully I'll be well perfectly. Think about it, that the last injury now is here and then when you go to sleep, that's a pain, Sha. And then it's now burning as it's healing, it's like clutching together, coming together, it's just like heal, clutching. I mean, I've been young for too long, 15 minutes. Hey, I hope I really edited this. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So the rest part of this blog will just be my workout tomorrow. My workout on Saturday will end it. Stay calm, people. Stay good. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Don't joke with your health. As you don't always know. As I said, I'll put some links to this tripod. And some other fancy things I think you would do well with on from Amazon. See you tomorrow, guys. The next day.
so today is Saturday and I am off to Hannah's Music to meet my friend Agogo. So as I said you guys, I'm giving her um, like a plus one of my passing vibes to this theatre show and I hope we're going to have a, such a good time. So also doing something similar, first invite gifts to my friend Jamie. I think I mentioned it earlier, she's getting a child finalized now and that will be on the 9th of July. So I don't think you're part of this particular vlog shot because it's obviously going past, it's going to go past this week. I think this vlog will end today. My outfit of the day is a please set, just like the one I wore to brunch with Cynthia. Well, it's a different color, it's the same nasty girl. I really love these sets because they are so easy to wear. I'm jumping in. I got ready late. I'm so much ready. I'm so nice guy. I don't know what to tell you, Jean. That's politics. <laughs> <laughs> we can't end it like that and we can't film the show. Hey, so the theatre show was so amazing, like it was funny, it was witty, there was like British wit plus general wit that everyone would get and even people that don't like British wit would, you know, laugh and stuff. The five actors, they were so talented, like it's difficult to choose, you know, who was like the best or your favourite, but the one called Monty definitely killed it because I think her, his role, because it was ladies play like men, so his role was, you know, very, he had a lot of speed and attitude and stuff. So it was really nice. So yeah, as usual, I got a came late. So do you want to say hello? So so sorry. What do you have to say to for yourself? I'm very no very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we decided to come and eat. Well. I'm trying to repent. Really I'm, I'm trying to repent. Really to really pay me, <laughs> repent. As you guys, almost one hour. Like we're stopping this day. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. And then this outfit is by SGTC clothing. I have the clothes version of it. But did they charge you the same for the shorts? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, can't I, can't I don't know. I can't remember. Do you remember the, the price? I can't remember. But I, if I check my game, I'll, I'll Okay. I have to pay like 20, 28. 28. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't think Yeah. She's having a huge burger, chips, lovely strawberry drink. And I'm having salad because I can't even shout. My immunity has to be what's on point. It's my illness on my neck. It's not what's funny. I'm sorry, I had to wear lipstick to do this video and that, that's my mirror. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, we just eat now and I think this is going to be the end of this vlog to be honest because I don't think I'm doing anything tomorrow. What did I do today? Nothing. I woke up, did laundry and then came out. To, I rested a bit and then came out for the show. And then tomorrow, no plans at all. But if I do anything tomorrow, you will see it. If not, thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you're a new subscriber, Please click the notification bell if you haven't and then if you're a new person watching this channel, please subscribe because we get to have you in the family and there's a lot of things to learn from subscribing to my channel and if you are not new, you have subscribed, you have the notification bell is clicked on your side. Thank you so much. Yeah, and it links to everything I wore will be in the description box. I told you guys this nasty girl and has this SGT clothing right now. So I kind of changed my mind. I had a GP appointment today. I went to my GP around the past three today. So I kind of took my lunch then. And then um, I think I feel I first feel a bit more comfortable sharing with you guys. I'm going to show you my skin and you know from the first time I realized it was I don't think I have a picture of that first time because it was really really in it wasn't really strange. It was just I think I think it was an internal feeling more or less and I just saw red whatever just like here. So I'm going to show you from like the day two or day three up to every four days till today. So viewer discretion is advised guys. So if you know you're not willing to see something stop watching. Apparently, you actually get shingles when you had chicken pox when you were younger and then the virus just sat down there waiting for your immunity to be down and it comes to attack and when your immunity is down, it's not able to fight it. So my, the problem I was having now was like I just felt some nodes, I mean nodes, and they were quite painful. So she was like, those nodes actually come when there's an infection and it really comes like fight. And obviously the more painful, the, the stronger the 
I don't know, thing attacked you. Mine was aggressive. She looked at my skin. I looked at pictures that I just showed you, and she was like, You have great skin. For you to have recovered from this in three weeks, and you're looking like this. Obviously, there are some food you eat that are good to heal shingles if you have shingles. And funny enough, my friend Amaka in London here, the one that said, the MNS fruit basket, she literally put 90% of what. Because that day, I was literally Googling, you know, what to eat for shingles, like good stuff to eat, and then. Literally everything I saw was in the basket she sent. That was so thoughtful of her because I'm sure she obviously researched it to choose what she put in the food basket. Mwah. Thank you so much, Amaka. So that's about it, guys. Um, if you have this, make sure you go to your doctors. They'll give you, it's not even antibiotics. It's actually something antiviral because the virus that's just sitting down there waiting for your immune to be down and they attack you if you've had chicken pox before. So, and it's contagious. So be careful when you're going to go anywhere. And then eat rice, do exercises, just look at your health, guys, because health is wealth. So if you start the treatment on time, your timeline will be different from mine. So I started my own late four days after instead of within four, seven, two hours. And my timeline was like, let's say the first week, oh, we both second week, half of the second week, is started drying up. So the black scale, and they look at your skin, like, is this my skin? The black scales were really thick. And then after a while, it starts drying up, let's say, 70 percent or well, let's say 80 percent of my stuff dried up and i started using the moisturizer because the other part is like so dry even if they are still wounds the other parts of the body are so dry so you need that moisturizer and if not you'll be hurting you basically so i started moisturizing with um this it's share butter but this one is heavy so it feels so uncomfortable like even if you're not about sleep it's just uncomfortable the next i went to my johnson's baby oil normally it's more like a baby oil i used to use like when i was small and everything but they don't make it again so i went to this this one however was too light like i see it's it's label it's too light so it dries up really 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 fast and then you have to start putting more again so i went to this L'Occitane for my babies this particular um body cream or something you gave me earlier this year this is the best thing right now because it's it's cooling it has like a cooling effect so when i apply it, like it's just it's light because it's even called ultra light body cream so it's cooling it's moisturizing and it's just comfortable so with this one i'm coping with like so the GP also gave me this today. She was like, it's a painkiller. I just try it once. Use it once for like three days and see if, you know, it works for me. Yeah, that this one goes straight to the nerves that causing me on like paracetamol, which is kind of like a general one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's about it to the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for staying true. And, I don't know, looking at those gruesome pictures. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends, family, and your enemies. Bye, guys.